Hi guys, this is Katja with Creator's Image. I'd like to show you a birthday card that I designed and I use DCWV's Serenity paper. So this is a companion piece to the Serenity mini album that I showed you a couple of videos and blog posts ago. And I would like to show you what I did since it's my own design. So here's a blank paper to uh, show you the cutouts that I made. This is an A4 piece of paper initially. So as you can see, um, I folded it. Not quite over the middle because here uh, I left a space. And I also created room for uh, the glue strips here. So I made sure to cut this one away here and also this piece away here and of course here a narrow piece as well because I wanted to create double pockets um, and as you can see when you fold this you're already halfway there because you only have to put glue or a score tape here and here and then fold it and you have your pockets now the only thing you're left with then is this piece here because this will have to close as well. So what I did there is create an extra hinge simply using a little piece of paper. Attached it and that's it. And then all you had to do is fold this to have a flap pocket. And this is actually the basic design. So it's one piece of A4 paper is all you need for your basis. Now, I'm not giving you the exact measurements and there's a reason for that. Um, it's because I designed this card to fit exactly around, um, let me show you this, this card here. This is an actual birthday card. And I wanted uh, just to show this text and so it's this piece here that determined um, the, the measurements for the strip of paper that I had to cut away here. So this will vary with your own card. So it doesn't really matter what my measurements are as long as you take care that uh, this, this height here makes sense in some kind of way to you. So you can either make it a larger strip cut it away and right down here or here, whatever you like, or you can even let it close all the way and then um, use a circle punch uh, to create an opening. It's, it's whatever you like. So it's the basic principle. It's just fold it to have your bottom uh, of the pocket sealed and make sure there's glue strips on the side. That's all. So this is the end result. As you can see, this looks like a belly band, but it's actually not quite a belly band because when we turn the card over you can see it's uh, a way of, of closure that I came up with because you only have to pull this out and then it will open without you use uh, without you losing this piece of uh, Paper, because with a belly band you will remove it and you may lose it or whatever and this is a way to uh, to keep your closure with your card uh, so it's a nice alternative I did that by the way just by uh, putting a strip of pa uh, paper here and attaching it with two brads to this decorative paper and then glue the whole thing to the basis of the card so again very simple now, as you can see here in this uh, smaller pocket, there's a tag and this tag contains uh, a photo of the recipient and I backed it up with some uh, decorative paper of the Serenity paper stack. And then here, there's a tag that I created uh, from the design paper that says happy birthday and I attached that with a lovely bread here that I found in, uh, well, some sort of uh, local craft uh, shop. So you fold this open and then there's a piece of decorative paper here. So this is just for decoration, for the effect. And then here is the actual birthday card. So I picked a birthday card that had text on the one hand and then uh, the color theme here 
would match the paper. So we are, I, I chose the deep purple colors because it has a little bit of raspberry here, raspberry foil paper here in the pattern of the paper. So uh, I thought this matched uh, pretty well. So I will write this and then chuck it in here and close the card. And that's it, that's my design. Hope you enjoyed this, hope you like this. Thanks for watching.